Hi everyone, it is me, Foreign Simmer. Before we get started, I want to thank EA for sponsoring this video. If it's your first time on my channel, I am a storyteller that uses The Sims 4 to create stories, also known as Machinimas. I've been playing The Sims for over a decade now, but only started making videos about 5 years ago. There are many ways to play The Sims 4, but storytelling is my favorite because I get to be the writer, director, and producer of my own stories. Sometimes I get asked how I create my stories, and honestly, it's not always a straightforward process. It would be better for me to start with my script first and then go from there, but most of the time I don't know where my story is going, but I know how I want to start it, if that makes sense. So I go ahead and write a small part of the script, then I go in to create a sim to get my sims ready. I spend a lot of time in create a sim because if my sims don't look the part, I just can film. I feel like I am frozen and paralyzed. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys can relate to that. After that, I try to find the best location to film. Usually, I like to have something going on in the background to add realism. It could be anything like cars or even other sims. But that really depends on what they are wearing because some townies are out here looking crazy, okay? <laughs> Angles are really important when shooting a scene. That's why I use the cinematic camera. All you have to do is click on the tab key and it gets rid of the user interface. The Q key is to move down and the E key is to move up. To zoom in and out, you can use the scroll bar on your mouse. If you don't have a scroll bar, you can use the plus or minus key to zoom in and out. Now, if you want to move your camera from one point to the other in the cinematic mode, you need to pick two different angles that your camera will go back and front from. You can save up to 5 camera angles using keys 5 to 9. All you need to do is hold down the control key and any number from 5 to 9. So this is my point A and here is my point B. When I press on key 5, it takes me to my point A. And when I click on key 6, it takes me to my point B. If you want a smooth pan, just hold the number down for a smoother transition. It's really that simple. When you have all that figured out, you can animate your sims using the in-game animations. There are so many you can choose from. Just type in what you're looking for and have fun with it. You can have your sims flirt, be embarrassed, or even die. <laughs> If you are interested in creating your own stories, I would recommend getting Sims 4 Seasons because it adds realism to your game. Let's say your Sims went through a breakup and you want to create a sad atmosphere. Just have your Sims stand by the window on a stormy night while crying her heart out. <laughs> okay, that's dramatic, but that's the point, right? My favorite stories to do so far have been the Christmas ones because it's my favorite season and there are a lot of activities my Sims can do which gives me a lot more content to work with. Get Famous is another good pack to have because of the new world, acting career, and fame and repetition system it came with. I love watching TV reality shows, and this pack inspired me to get out of my comfort zone and create a TV show based series called Real Housewife of Del Sol Valley. You guys should definitely check out this series if you like drama because the tea is hot and spilling. <laughs> of all the stories I've created, I think the ones that involve students were my most popular ones because people love high school and college drama. That's why I would recommend getting Sims 4 University. So many storyline opportunities and fun parties you can throw on campus. You know what they say, work hard but play harder. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful. Please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate and leave them in the comment section. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!